Yo, what's up, everybody? Hey, uh, y'all seen the smoothie I made yesterday, right? I've been making them every day here lately, and people said the smoothie looked good. Hold on one second. The people say the smoothie looked good, except for the only mistake I made is that I used tap water. Let me tell you guys something. Bottled water is one of the biggest scams pulled on human beings today. The bot, the what, the bottle that the water come in costs more than the water. The bottle that the water come in costs more than the water. That's a big ass scam, man. I remember growing up, man. We used to go to Patterson, New Jersey, and we used to see, and we used to go to the Path Mark because the Path Mark in Patterson used to seem a lot better than the Path Mark in New York, the one up there in the Bronx. And um, we always used to see bottled water, and we'd be like, "Who the fuck?" We used to always say, "Who bottle? Who buys water?" Why do people buy water? Water is free. We can never understand why people bought water. And now everybody buys bottled water. And everybody's trying to say one water is better than the other. You know, I never did a lot of research on water, but to me, water is water. It's water. And most of the shit, like I said, you brush your teeth with tap water. You wash your hat, hair with tap water. You make ice with tap water. You wash your face with the tap water. Every, most of the processed food that you buy out the store is made with tap water. Tap water and bottled water is really no big difference. Where do you think the boy you think all that water come from? They say it comes from natural springs and shit like that. When I was in Germany, we lived in Germany, we used to see people collect water from the faucet. They used to go to the park and it was like uh it was like some salsa water, some natural salsa water that used to come out the ground. And people used to come there with their bottles and get the water, the Germans. And we used to see people go there and, you know, get it with their hand. And we never, we tasted it. We never knew what was the big deal about it. It was from a natural spring. Now, all of a sudden, people got to have, like I just said, you know, like they make a big deal about, like, uh, the mayor. Who was that? The mayor or the president? One of them guys want to give out crack pipes. That I made, I said that. I said that 10 years ago that they're going to start giving out crack pipes. And we're going to say, we know you can make crack pipes, but the store-bought crack pipes are better. And that's what they're saying about bottled water now. We know you can get water. And, and it's like this dude, some he collect rainwater. I don't know about rainwater, but I made a joke about it. I said the rain, the clouds are, the, the clouds are polluted. The, the water that comes through the clouds is polluted. You know, the airplanes fly through the crowd, the uh, clouds. You know, there's dirt. God made dirt. Dirt don't hurt. Shit. And then another guy told me the fruit is dirty. What? Well, where the fuck you think the fruit come from? Dirt. I remember I was walking down the street on 8th Avenue one day, and it was a blueberry tree, blueberry bush. Mad blueberries on there. And, like, the sidewalk was flooded with blueberries when people had stepped on them. You know, because the blue when it's ripe, you know, like, when it's ripe, it falls. Like, the apple tree knows when to let go the apple. When it's ripe, it falls. So, anyway, I went over there and started pulling some fruit off the trees and eating them. And people told me I was nasty. But if you lived in Jamaica, you know, you pull fruit right off the tree. If you live on the Caribbean island, you pull fruit, fruit right from the tree and eat it. How do you think people used to live back in the days? But everybody thinks it's got to be, it got to go through a process of being touched by somebody. It's got to be touched and packaged. Then you guys think it's okay to eat. Man, it's nature, man. It's nature. If it's apple trees right here, I don't know if it's that. I'm just saying, if it was apple trees out here, you can go get apples off the tree and eat them. But then people in New York, people look at you like you're crazy because you see mad apple trees in New York. But back to what I was saying, bottled water is the biggest scam known to man. It's a scam, man. It's bullshit. But the manufacturer is going to tell you that bottled water is better for you because they want to sell it. Most of the shit you see on TV is about capitalism. It's about people wanting to sell a product. So they're going to tell you it's good for you. They're going to say it's better for you. It's going to say it's new and improved. They're going to say it's, it's got more added vitamins and all that other bullshit. It's water. It's damn water. Water, water, water. You sweat water, you should drink water. And growing, like I said, you take a shower with that tap water. You brush your teeth with that tap water. You make ice with that tap water. You wash your hair with that tap water. And all of a sudden, tap water ain't no good for you. New York got the best tap water I know. I know when I'm when I'm when I used to live in uh we went to visit Yemisee down here in Buford. You could smell their water. You could smell the sulfur. And we used to always make a joke about it. We went to Jersey. We used to always say Jersey water is nasty. New York water had the best water. And and growing up, like I said, we used to drink tap water. And and the thing was, being little kids, we used to always run to the bathroom because you could stand on the tub. You could stand on the tub. You could stand on the tub and reach over in the sink and drink the water out the sink because the water in the bathroom sink was always cold. 
ice cold. All right, y'all, let me go. Talk to y'all later.